So you say. Listen, Rab Nesbitt has nothing, if not reliable. If he says he will be a wee tight late, but he's not sure how long, then he will be exactly a wee tight late, but not sure how long. Oh, just relax. Hold relax. Me. Look, James, this trip to Italy took a lot of organising. Everything had to be bought and paid for in advance. You're due for the off in five minutes, and that big tube hasn't coughed up with his bonjulans yet. Yeah, you were about kidney. Hey, Mike from Dickie. Only one premium tuna. Ah, how are you going to leave us alone? I want to buy my mints. I don't know why you bother. How do you know just put your head to one side and let it fall out your ears, eh? <laughs> See that effort there? See that? Can I just fill the effort for that? Mutton dressed to spell him. <laughs> Never mind, doll. Well, I'll always have Paris, eh? Ha 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 ha! See that? She got half white there, you know. I could have really stuck a boot in and tell her she kept a dirty hoose. I'll tell you this. See this little cup? You can stuff it. There you are. I don't want it. I don't want it. When you go to, you got to rise above your appetite, don't you? You know. I mean, it's a character test. A character test. In fact, see this? I wouldn't thank you for a ticket to the World Cup. There you are. In fact. See if somebody was to come up to me in the street too and say, Hey Rob, here is a chance of you going to the World Cup. I would just say, Da! Da! <laughs> what is it? What is it? There's a chance of you going to the World Cup. Hey! <laughs> well, what the hell are you standing there for? Go on, get yourself up home. Get under the sideboard and hook the passports through the peak frame tent. Go on! Go on! See when you get right, don't you? I don't have to talk some amount of key. Show it, eh? <laughs> Here I'm going to World Cup, I'm no. Look, don't get volatile with me. I'm just a light man here, by the way. You're going to World Cup. It's just that you might have a wee bit company, no a kind of travelling companion. What kind of travelling companion? Hey, what kind of travelling companion? Ex football player. Have you heard of Wally Verney, ex Celtic? Uh. Well, meet Matt Verney, ex Villa Levy. <laughs> Matt? How is an old bag of bones like that ever going to get to the World Cup? Hey, I mean, look at him. I mean, if his if he's balls drop any further, he's going to have to dribble him back here where he's never. <laughs> hey, you've got it, Linda. That's not your travelling companion. Ah, come away and rap. <laughs> have a wee proposition to put to you. No, your travelling companion's the one in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Good. You see, Rab, Matt has led a kind of sheltered life. He didn't marry, didn't he drink? I mean, he wasn't hear him scare him like you and me. Look, eh, uh, no offence, pal, but you want me to take your brother to the World Cup, don't you? Why, Eddie? Ah, well, I mean, don't get me wrong, but... Well, judging by appearances, I think he'd be hard pushed to make it to the World Cup, you know. In fact, I'd be very surprised if he made it through lunch, you know what I mean? Oh, no, you've got it all right, Rob. Though, Matty doesn't say much, but he takes it all in. <laughs> that right, fly man, you take it all in. What? <laughs> He's a hell of a character, isn't he? <laughs> well, you'll no half miss him when he goes, eh? Catch. Listen, the next time, get yourself a budgie. They're much better company, you know. No, you, Rab, no, my brother's an old man that's ripe for the big sleep. Give him this one last fling before he goes. 
Oh, please, friend. Please take me to Italy to the World Cup. Yeah. What else do you want? Do you want us to sit on my hind legs and beg you? How can I do it? Hey, how can I risk taking an old crop like that to the World Cup? How do? Andy Rocks was taking Roy Aiken. <laughs> Never mind where the hell have I been. Questions, questions. Listen, meet Mark Furney. Mark's brother Dan coughed up the spondulics to take myself and the wee fella here to tell ya. Yeah, fact. Lucky bastards, how comes? Never mind how comes. Just, just shake the man by the horn and I've done with one. Yeah. Oh, Fena, have you been abroad before? No, the nearest I've been to the continent is Lark Hall. <laughs> That's all, eh? <laughs> Rottweiler country, eh? <laughs> Very good. You have a right to him in Italia, eh? Eh? <laughs> eh, hey, tongue a dog's cotter. Her man, Ella. Hey, <laughs> Rosa, put him back if you think you're ugly. <laughs> I could really near taste that, could you know? Exactly. We know we're going to get stuffed, so we may as well enjoy what's yeah. happening. A dirty big swally, and I gave him a fat bloody hand here. See when you get right in here. I mean, what merit does a bloke need to sustain human life, eh? I don't know about that. A range over 90k a year wouldn't go amiss. Oh, well, let's not get him bitter too early, eh? Otherwise, we'll have nothing to look forward to when we get gubbed by Brazil. Where Costa Ricans? Carmen Miranda in there, eh? Miranda, what are you clapping me, Bamford? Listen, son, see when you come for govern, you don't get many opportunities in life to patronise people. Am I right, man? Oh, you know what, Rab? You're beginning to speak my language. You see, Rab's like me. When you come for govern, you speak straight for the heart. I wouldn't want to speak to your heart. You couldn't get through your arteries for the mutton pies and the caramel wafers. He started me up. Tell him no, he's starting me around. I'll be responsible. All right, go on, all right, all right, all right. Cool it, cool it. You don't touch one here in that voice. He'd insult me, you insult my family. All Remember right. that. Ah, uh, you tell him that. Oh, you shut it down. <laughs> you dumb stupid for your fizz up. Come on, calm down, settle down. Let's sing a wee ditty. Cement international relationships. Two, three. Sheep shagging bumpers!
You are right, Bernie, son. You enjoy yourself, eh? The kitten from board at my aquarium. This is mine. Have a move, son. Daddy's here. Watch him. It's no your fault. Ah, <laughs> Costa Rica, my ass! He's complaining! I am! I mean, back in Africa, go ahead, yeah. <laughs> sure you like. Well, at least we're good losers, eh? That's the sort of practice we get, you know. Finish with that record, you are, but... Oh, a minute. I'm reading just Johnny's problem page. You're reading that crap for... Cos it's personal, right? Just give me some space in my life, will you? I don't go asking you nosy questions about your personal life, do you? Well, that's cos I've no got a personal life, but... <laughs> my personal life's an open book. All right, Bernie, son. Aye. A tick book. <laughs> You mean give me back Charlie to sleep with? <laughs> when's is it? When's is a great consolation to a man? You take it for me. No, I need to take it for you, won't I? Can't exactly go on personal experience, can I? There's no need to take it like that. Come on, for goodness sake. Just cos you're sterile. <laughs> Just cos your life despises you. Just cos there's no juice in your cajonies. I was only saying they were, they were a consolation, you know. I didn't say they were any bloody good to you, you know. <laughs> hey, Devo. Is it no about time you were way back to your billet? Hey, I'll go in a minute. One salt shuffle butt drops off to his kit. He dreams really there anyway. Oh, what he does every night. Fills in his diary. At least, I think it's his diary. Could be his last bill and testament for all I know. You shouldn't have taken him here. He's no fat for it. He wanted to come, didn't he? He wanted to come. Listen to you, he's got his personal life, and you've got yours, and everybody's entitled to their own personal lives, right? OK? Son, what's the matter with you, anyway? What's the matter? Your face has been tripping you ever since you left Gleska. Can he tell me that? Ah, bugger it, I'll tell you. <laughs> what's that? I think I've got the male menopause. that thing blokes get when they're of a certain age. When the magic goes out their marriage, they start getting traumas and questioning their values and that. I think I've got one. Get on. Hey, your ass! <laughs> You're big coming. We're big coming. Us. We're big, we don't get things like that. I mean, the big C we get. Heart attacks we get, I mean, by all means, have a heart attack. Go on. <laughs> because I don't know what's getting into you, Clark. I mean, what is it with you? What is it with you? Hey, versus, versus a fat at kitchen, you it's a male menopause. <laughs> You're trouble, boy. You're trouble. You're getting ideas out of your bloody station, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you's button it. I'm trying to get a kipper in here. Shut it, you! Your Uncle James is having a menopause here. <laughs> it's no funny, Rab. Look at me. I'm 45 years old. I've done nothing with my life. I don't want to wind up with that old dud through the warrior. That old dud played for Mary Levin. So what? I played for Third Lanark. Four games. And it would have been five if my career hadn't been cut prematurely because of this dicky shooter. Looking back at my life, you know, I can get that part of any perspective now. For me. Oh, that was the golden month. Ah, I mean, I, I hear what you're saying here. I hear what you're saying. I know. I know where you're coming from here. I mean, I have tasted the highs of life annoying. 
I mean, I can remember how I felt the day Mary and I qualified for a single payment for the DSS. <laughs> Thanks for listening, Val. You could have ripped a piss out of me, but you never. No, no, I respect that big man. Right? Hey, hey, boy. Hey, boy. looking a bright side to you. Hey, I mean, maybe you're 45 with a menopause, but... Yeah. At least you've kept your figure down on you. Can I ask you something? Hi, son, what is it? What the hell do you find to write about? Oh, it's my diary, son. My life. Old men should be explorers. And I want to get it all done in paper before it's too late. I'm 84, you know. Aye, uh, good, but what for? I mean, what's the reason? Oh, no reason. It just helps a typical jock like me to put football in its place. After all, when the World Cup's been won and the cheering's all stopped and the teams have all gone home, these words will still be here in this paper. When that Rami next door is melted into memory, my thoughts will still be here to be read. <laughs> For me, that's reason enough. Now, if you'll excuse me, if you're all right. I'll tell you one thing. See me. I'm a, I'm a typical Glaswegian, by the way. All right? Moaning face negative bastard. <laughs> I mean, it's no your fault, you understand? It's no your fault. You know who I blame? You know who I blame? The weather. I mean, see, in Glasgow, we get a wee blink of sun every now and again, poking out for between the drizzle, you know? Just enough warmth to tempt you to, to trust life again, and then whack! Just as soon as the hood's off your parka, <laughs> down comes a torn piss. <laughs> Hams every time. I mean, see if we lived here, in this place, in this climate, we'd be a different bloody breed or together, you know what I mean? Uh, I mean, take this heifer here, look at it. Eh? <laughs> old shuffle ass here. <laughs> Scotland's finest. I mean, you can just, you can just picture it, can you? You can just picture it, one on about Safeways with its wee slither of cheese and its four hundred with a pick and mix and a wee string bag. Nobody able to walk above a shuffle because its pension dosh is shoved up its ass for fear it gets mugged outside the school and its way home, you know? <laughs> I mean, I've got you, I bet the high spot of this life is reading the death column in the evening times out at Stew, you know? Hey, uh, hombre! Hey! You're not in my way, Mr. Ozone! Leave me alone! Oh, Who come! Is it? Sheldon, it's only me, it's only me! Give me a hint! Don't cough your lungs up onto the pavement either! See, with a cough like that, you should be away back to your scratcher, boy. Certainly not! My time is precious. I'm taking a taxi into town. Then I'll walk to Via Garibaldi and into Palazzo Doria Tursi to see, among other treasures, Paganini's violin. <laughs> and what about you, Rob? How will you be spending your day? Uh, well, I maybe thought I'd uh, have a pizza myself. <laughs> a pizza? In Italy? My, you're full of ideas. <laughs> Well, if you'll excuse me, some of us have some living to do. Oh, taxi! That's a great thing about football, eh, James? It gives you a chance to relax, to forget all your worries. Forget your worries? What the hell are you talking about? You're not here to enjoy yourself. 
You're here to support Scotland. Tell him that. Oh, keep my cranium, you will you, for God's sake. You're still wound up just because we get gubbed by Costa Rica. Honey, stop saying that. Because every time you do, I lose two inches off my manhood. Two inches? Your digger must be halfway up your colon, Benoit. <laughs> Tell him that he's starting again. He's starting. That's it. Steady the buff. Steady the That's it. Finish. Finish off. Come on. Let's have a wee post Costa Rica checklist here. Make sure we've got all our necessities. Right, OK, go ahead, Rab. Shoot. Spearmint chewing gum, macaroon bath. Yeah. Check. Shoulder to cry on. Check. Scapegoat. Check. Seems to be another. Wait, they're Swedes. Bastard, I'll punch his legs. No, 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 no. no. Oh, to get a gesture of the good will. Look, they're all clapping. Woo! Ah, they're not too bad, are they? Maybe, uh, maybe we should respond. They're doing something for their culture, you know. Pass ourselves in company kind of style. Fair enough. What did they do in Sweden? Commit suicide. <laughs> Look at that. I don't know, I'm not going to battle out, but come on. Get a hunt for each, start flinging. Hey, there, boys! Pop your jaws in your area, eh? Oh! Andy Stewart, where's your trousers? Hey, the man! Bear with me! Do you ball it? Up off! A wee cocky coley, man. Hey, stay up past your bedtime and I seeing as how we gubbed the Swedes, eh? Oh, no thanks, Rab. It's been a smashing day, but uh, now I'm tired. Uh, in fact, I think I'll, I'll, I'll await him a bit. <laughs> Good night, boys. Uh, Good night, man. Hey. He's a game old bastard, that, isn't he? Yeah. I mean, he can't even draw breath, but by God. He's not going to let it lick him, you know. And you got your admire that, haven't you? Nah. Oh, that makes you feel humble. God. Oh, God almighty! What the hell's the matter with you now? It's that game of night, Rab. It's good to me. It's just throws it all back to me. I mean, that could have been me out there in the old park, you know? Playing for Scotland. If it hadn't been for this bloody well gammy shooter, I'd. <laughs> tell me, is your shooter giving you bother than you? No. Not at this precise moment, no. Well, get your horn in your pocket, cos it's your round. <laughs> Louis, you just keep back from the gate, OK? Bloody Peter! I was here first! Hey, look! There's the alley! The alley! Aiden Paul. Yes? Hey, I was just wondering, I know you're a busy man, but I'm just wondering if there's a wee chance you could maybe put in a good word for me, like, you know, just a man to have a wee blether with Andy Roxburgh. Meet Mr Roxburgh? I hardly think so. I know, no, it's just that I want to congratulate him on the Sweden game, you know? I mean, the team are pish, but at least they got stuck in like cycles, eh? Look, Mr Roxburgh's a very busy man. He can't go making himself available to every Tom, Dick and, and Tartan Army foot soldier who happens by. No, no, I don't understand. I know Andy. I know my uh, beast to play together, you know? I nutmeg them twice. That's when the Jags were playing a high highs. Yeah, special nickname for me. That wee bastard. That's what he's doing. <laughs> Look, you're not meeting Mr. Roxburgh, and that's final. Now, would you move along? You're cluttering up the hotel entrance. Ah, go on, Pop. Go on, please, let's have a word. Watch your body, please. Watch your body, please. Watch your body. Hey, come on, Cop. For God's sake. 
You're just making a bloody nuisance yourself. Do what a man tells you. Yeah, hell of a sorry about that, pal. He's actually having a wee bit of trouble with his menopause at the minute. <laughs> and the Costa Rica's um, turned it kind of chronic, sort of style, you know what I mean? Well, I wish he'd shove off and have it somewhere else. That goes for you and the rest of your rabble, too. You'll be giving us Scots a bad name. Who the hell are you talking to, you wee sink plug that you are? <laughs> Don't you get above yourself, boy? Don't you get above yourself? I mean, I'm not like him. I mean, he's, he's looking for something happy. So he's obliged to run his tongue round the rim of your archie ball. But I don't want nothing for you. Nothing, you understand me? All right, there's no need to take that attitude. I'll take part of the hell bloody archie that I like, pal. Fuck me. Come on, let's get here. I'm going to lose my temper here. All right, Ram. Uh, uh, I'll tell you this, boy. I'll tell you this. See, people are you. See, people are you. You get right up my jillops. You get right up my jillops. You don't know when you're bloody well, well off. See people like us, see people like us, Scotty fans, they're the best bloody football fans in the whole world. There you are, boy, there you are. Take a shit and bottomless watch. And you just watch yourself, boy. You just watch. If we started, if we started thinking about this bloody game, because people like you will be standing in wee booths flogging tickets for national bloody car parks. <laughs> my face, boy. Just you get out my face. There you are. I don't want nothing for you. Nothing, there you are, nothing. And by the way, have you got any spare tickets for the Brazil game? As a matter of fact, I have, but you are most certainly not getting them. Good, because I will tell you this, boy. For once in my life, I don't bloody well need them. Go get it right up here, you wee hush puppy hell of a year. <laughs> Oh, what's the matter, Jamesy? Could you not get into the hotel? What do you think? They should have mentioned my name. I'll tell you one thing. You're not going to spoil it for me, no matter what they say. Football's the greatest game in the world. It's the international language of brotherhood and friendship. All right. All right. All right. All right. A man to man. The whole world there. Oh, brothers be. No, that. No, that. No. No. Well, that's your character, no, eh? Is that Tally calling me a poof? Oh, my lord, no, don't be so paranoid. He's asking us if we want a game of football. Go on for a wee dodge of that, eh? Oh, uh, me, you know. Oh, I see. Any problem? Hey, amigos! All of us, amigos, eh? Hey, hey, hey! Okay, hey! Very good! Amigos! Amigos! Ah, oh, the one that's... Right, let's get nipped right into the post of innocence and nappers, OK? <laughs> right. to remember us as a friendly, right? So internal injuries only. <laughs> I want to see Scottish football here. I want to see arrogant football. So let's show them some of that Glasgow garlessness, OK? Right, Rab? Position see us arguing amongst ourselves. There's no argument about it, Cotter. You are an arse. <laughs> hey, that wasn't just my fault. Where was my defence? Your defence? You need to plead insanity after the next <laughs> Right, that's it. I've had enough of your jibes and your taunts. You have got my maddy up now. Hey, let me ask you. Gaze that ball.
Now Finny, you bastard laugh, I'll kill you! Right. That was a definite smack. You're clean! Ella! Ella! It's Rab, Ella! Aye, aye, aye! Listen, Ella! You're not, you're not going to believe this, because you're laughing, I tell you, but... James has been left up in a polis! <laughs> Ella! Ella! I think she took it quite well, you know. <laughs> this you wait for you. See? Very nice of you, eh? Oh, this your Wainzos? <laughs> Me no go Wainzos. But eh, this meal new three-piece sweeto. Sweeto, eh? Ah, uh, this meal barbecue <laughs> set. Barbecue setto. Andy, that me already feel. You just lie down in your tummy, James, eh? Okay, Ella. Oh. Oh, oh. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Oh, 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 oh. Is your shooter any better yet? A wee bit, you know. <laughs> It'll be all the better for your familiar magic touch. Mm. Oh, Ella, I'm not going to forget this, no? No, Jamesy. I'll make damn sure of that. <laughs> Get the chance, you might like to swivel that sugly shooter of your rune to pick up this. Oh. It's a solicitor's letter. Huh? A flying for a legal separation. Oh. You might like to consult one yourself. Uh. Once you've recovered the power of speech, that is. Uh. <laughs> oh. God. You're an evil bishop, sweetheart. Get it right, oh. pal. You're not talking to Mrs. Cotter. You're speaking to Ms. Wilson now. Ciao. <laughs> Here you are, Matthew. The joys of married life. I bet you're glad you passed that, you know. Oh, I don't know, son. A punch in the mouth is still a form of human contact. <laughs> There's still a lot <coughs> to be said for it. <coughs> if that makes any kind of sense. It does not, but it sounds suitably profound. Now, come on, get hit. We'll be late for the game. Presto, presto. Son, Barney, I don't think I'll go to the game the day. I'm, I'm feeling a wee tight no wheel. You're not allowed to feel no wheel. It's Brazil. Are you shamming your old bam? No, no. I'm no shaman, sir. Are you sure? <coughs> oh, all right, all right. A doctor's line would have done. <laughs> it's mad! Who are you looking like that for? Cheer your fissure up, for God's sake. I can't help it, Dad. Do you think he'll croak? No. He is not going to croak. It's, it's just, it's just a wee nosebleed. Except when it's coming for his lungs, that's all. Si, compadre! Carrega! Alemão, Bebeto Romario! Alexander Fleming, you bastard! <laughs> I'm sorry about this, Rob. I'm hell of a sorry. I didn't want you to miss the Brazil game. Oh, never mind the Brazil game. Bugger the Brazil game. I mean, yeah. well, we're only booked in here for a week anyway. Scotland never ever get by the first round, did it? Hey, never ever. 
I'm just sorry that I'll not be around to see you growing up, son. Cut the key, Cotter. Right, Sally. I know you. Keep two or three days and you'll be in there getting at the creeping games, begging her to have you back. See you. You're wrong, Rob. You're wrong there. Three minutes, my leak. <laughs> Stay here, son. Daddy's got a wee message, all right? It's not like that. Stone a boot and bump in each other and sting your piss. I mean, I don't know, son. Some of my best friends are like that. Actually, he's gravely unwell. Hey, what's that sight piercing inside, eh? You said a witch doctor. Well, how are you the day's paper? The paper? What, 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 what for? I need to know. Need to know? No, no, no what? How Scotland got on against Brazil. You mean you haven't heard? We scudded them. We scudded them. Three nine. Three nothing. Do you see, Dan? I tell you. Oh, he of the little. But, oh, but. <laughs> His was a small one. In many ways, a testament to the age-old Scottish failings of lack of confidence and wasted opportunity. His day, historically, was long now. But now, thankfully, a new breed of Scotsmen everywhere about. But let us not be too hard in our condemnation. For let's face it, we can't all be Wallace Mercer, can we? Well, Melissa, <coughs> that was a, a very nice oration. I hope you feel a hell of a lot better after your operation. <laughs> what operation? Have a poker removed your ass. <laughs> Oh, very good. What a best question. What a best question. I've got my daily record. <laughs> well, seen I'm scum, innit? <laughs> I mean, anybody with any real class would never have come back. After an exit line like that, you know. I always think it's rather a sad character fault, needing to have the last word. The last word? Oh, okay. I didn't get the last word, pal. No, no. Look, you get the last word. There you are. <laughs> Give me a bit of hell myself. <laughs> <laughs> 